This review is of Liquid Death Slaughterberry Iced Tea Agave Minerals Murder Your Thirst. That's their their logo uh, slogan, which is fine. Microdose of natural caffeine, 30 milligrams per cat can. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, not for children, women who are pregnant and nursing, and people who are sensitive to caffeine. I'm sure. You can illuminate this. <laughs> Did I say illuminate? <laughs> recycle. You can recycle. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is wrong with my brain? I mean, other than getting old and stuff. Oh, and they're very insistent on that. They could have made the lettering re um, really easy to read, like bigger and bolder. Recycle or die. I like that. A lot of lazy people out there who don't bother to and can. This psychotic can of iced tea will use agave and eight vitamins to savagely murder your thirst and turn its insides into balloon animals to book gigs at... Oh my God, another John Wayne Gacy reference, which I think is highly inappropriate. It's bad enough that Christians think that this is satanic um, because of all the, you know, violent references in here and death and stuff. And then you reference a serial killer. Now you're really crossing the line. So liquid death, yeah. Get that crap off your cans because I'm certainly not going to be supportive of it. I don't care if you want to call yourself liquid death. I don't care if you want to make references to death. I do care if you are kind of making references to serial killers that could be suggested as being in support of serial killers. That's wrong. That's vile. All right. So the can has got no fat or cholesterol, five milligrams of sodium, seven grams of carbs, of which six are added sugars and no protein. It's got B12 in it. Hooray. These are the ingredients. And that's it. So we're going to try it. Hopefully this one tastes better than that billionaire one. Okay. Wow. Uh, just like the other one, there is very little sweetness. Now, when I drink like Olipop, the sweetness is at an enjoyable level. This, the flavor is not bad. You can taste berry. I'm not sure which berries exactly. It's kind of a, a mixture. But I, I would say strawberry and raspberry maybe. You can taste berry flavor. So it's nice. I'll give it a five. I'm going to... I don't know. I'll give it a six. I'm going to try it with sweetener now. Honestly, because you are making references and trying to make... Or to normalize, apparently, uh, serial killers... Um, I'm going to, you know, your score is effectively cut in half until such time as you decide to not do that. You know, again, you want to make references to death, that's fine. But when you start getting into the realm of normalizing evil, that is not okay. And it's very suggestive of the kind of people that work for Liquid Death, or at least in the marketing team and the leadership team. <clears throat> no, that didn't really help. <clears throat> I will most likely die of asphyxiation. <clears throat> That's always scary when I as aspirate something. Unfortunately, <clears throat> adding erythritol to this not only did not bring out the berry flavor, <clears throat> it diminished it, which I did not expect. Maybe if I tried my sucralose, I would have gotten a better result. It doesn't really taste like tea. I mean, even without the erythritol, it doesn't really taste like tea. So... Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.